Self-Care in Session by Dr. Melissa J. Hi there, I'm Dr. Melissa J. So grateful to be here with you. What we're going to be curious about is how we can support ourselves through self-care in staying grounded and present in the face of difficulty in session. So when I say difficulty, what I really am meaning is there could be a rupture in the working alliance. There could also be intense emotion that comes up in session or something else. As a trauma-informed psychologist and yoga teacher, I'm really invested in understanding the complexities of trauma. When someone comes into session with a history of trauma within the context of a relationship, it is essential that we can stay grounded in session. We are invested in supporting and staying connected to what's happening moment to moment and allowing ourselves to really remain in a place of embodiment. What allows you to stay connected to your mind, to your body, to your spirit and your heart? I'm going to deconstruct that a little bit because in order for us to stay connected to our mind, we need to be regulated in our bodies. So you might find that doing some tangible things will support you. Having a warm cup of tea to hold, notice what you notice as you're feeling it. That might mean wiggling around in your chair, notice where your body connects to the chair below you. Perhaps you notice that you're breathing. So maybe taking a nice big inhale, nice big exhale. Once we have regulated ourselves, checked in with ourselves to make sure we're regulated and integrated, we can then offer those practices with our client. So slowing things down in session can sometimes be the most productive thing that we can do. Inviting our clients to slow down, to check in. What do you notice happening in your body right now? What's happening with your breath? How are you feeling as you're talking about this right now? It allows them a moment or a pause to shift from being taken by the emotion to instead witnessing the emotion. This is only possible when we're able to be a witness. By staying connected to ourselves, we're able to stay connected with our clients. And when we can stay connected to our clients, we can catch them in those moments where they need us to intervene. Slowing it down, checking in, shifting from doing the talking to being what's happening here and now in this moment. Be curious about what this means for you. How might you support yourself in staying grounded in session if and when difficulty arises? Take care.